Hello, LBDLCS students, family, and friends. It's Mrs. Mooring here with your read aloud on Monday morning. So for today's read aloud, I have a couple activities you might be interested in doing with reading aloud. For this book, we have obviously the puppets. And you could find puppets to go along with most books, most children's picture books. If you just Google it online, people will help you um, come up with puppets to use. That would be a great activity for students to work on cutting and coloring and those types of things while also creating something fun for their read aloud. So after I'm done reading this little piggy, we're gonna talk about two other activities that we could do. Okay, so this little piggy. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had cookies. This little piggy had fun. And this little piggy went wee, wee, wee all the way home. As you can tell from this little piggy version, it's different than this little piggy nursery rhyme that we're usually used to. So another activity you could do is read two different versions of a book and compare and contrast them. Students really have a lot of fun uh, thinking about what is the same and what is different from books that they read. So that's another activity. Another activity that I like to do with nursery rhymes or poetry that rhymes is create flashcards with them. So every word in this little piggy is put down on a flashcard. This little piggy went to whoops, <laughs> market. And then I also use the punctuation, period. So with the flashcards, then all of the students um, will memorize these words as sight words. And that's a great tool to help students start reading, uh, especially if they're emergent readers. So we have all of the words and their punctuation on flashcards. And then the next thing that I do, um, when we're going through the flashcards, the students will have the book and I will have the flashcards and they'll be able to look at the words in the book at first. The book helps them remember uh, the words. And then after they're getting used to the book and they have it by memory, they no longer need that book for that support. After that, we start using these as puzzles. So I mix them all up and then they have to put the puzzle together and it looks like this. So I make sure that I have a word and a card for each punctuation so that the students can put the puzzle together. What I like to do with those flashcards is I like to have the students go all the way across the room so that they're running across the room and getting their exercise and energy out while also doing a literacy activity. Most of my groups is based on just being active because we know that when we're active, we, our brains can store more information and more memory. So think about using this trick next time you read a nursery rhyme or a poem. Have a great day.